everyone, this is Jenny Garcia and I am working today on my Disney album and this is the very first page that you see when you open the album. It's just gonna have the title, some uh, fast pass cards, a sticker we got in a QR for the whole of a video with the whole Disney experience. Uh, you can make this with an app. I, you can also use a website. The app that I use it to make it is QR code generator. I think they have a, a website too. And you can change the color to anything you want. If you pay a little bit, you can change the shape. But I just wanted to keep it simple. Black works great for something Disney. Uh, I, I'm i looking through the cards of the Click Kit, the Click Core Kit from Project Life. And I'm also going to look through, I think it, it's called Tourist Mode. It was a kit from Feed Your Craft, and I think it was by In a Creative Bubble. And now you can get the past Feed Your Craft kits in a Creative Bubble website. Which is awesome because I, whenever you bought the kit, you will get the digital version of the cards. But now you can get the die cuts too, which is pretty awesome. And I think that we got this sticker the first night that we went to Disney Springs. And I wanted to keep it in the album. I wasn't sure if I just want to stuck the, the paper or actually use the sticker. So I went with the sticker i added a few extra stars and a little tag that says a little adventure really simple this spread it's going to be quite simple i just wanted to add these cards and little memorabilia in a simple way but also make it cute i'm going to use that washi tape a lot and that washi tape is from from simple stories and to glue the cards I'm gonna use the tumble adhesive dots and that way in the future I can remove it but it's not as removable as the tumble mono removable ad removable adhesive that's a mouthful um, but in the future if someone wants to you know peel the card off and look at the back in the future were all of these items change and they have different things. It would be interesting if any of you have looked through a very old photo album and have found any little piece of advertising, uh, packaging or something like that. It's really cool to see how things have changed. So that is something that I always like to add in my albums. Something that in the future when you look at it, you're like, oh my god, that is so 2020. But... Um, you know, something the kids will make fun of us for. But things that make... I don't know, I feel like these little bits take the experience a little bit further. That always helps. I'm also going to use uh, some washi tape from Freckle Fawn. And the little word stickers that I was using are from Say Cheese. And I want to say two. <laughs> That I think they have like four. They're all really cute. Uh, but yeah, I think I'm going to say that it's from Say Cheese 2. I'm also going to use some die cuts, but from Say Cheese 3. Again, I think. And on the side, I have a bunch of die cuts from that In a Creative Bubble Feed Your Craft Kit. Those little stars are from an Echo, pa Echo Park collection that it's like Disney it's called magic and wonder I think it's very old I found it at Tuesday morning so I, I look through the scrapbook.com website and they don't have that collection but Echo Park does have other Disney collections and I love those little word stickers from simple stories they've always been one of my favorites And I also like that on the back they wrote our names to like make sure we didn't use each other's. 
and to glue that photo and the die cuts later i'm gonna use the tumbo mono air touch adhesive which is the new adhesive runner i love it if you have arthritis or fine motor skill challenges i recommend that it runs really smooth you don't need to put pressure um like one of the other adhesives i can i can't remember the name i was using it all the time and now <laughs> i can't remember it So I also thought about making that QR code red, but I knew that I was going to use something red around it. So I'm glad I went with black. That car is from the Feed Your Craft kit. And I'm going to use this old L Studio dated stamp set to stamp the dates that we were at in, in Florida. We also went to Universal, but that was only one day. So it's mostly a Disney album. And the video is quite long, it's like 40 something minutes and it's just little bits of everything we did and it was a lot of fun. Also that L Studio did a stamp set, it's kind of old. Now they have a newer version that it's, this one ends in 2020. I think the newer one lasts a lot longer, I can't remember how much. And I did a little writing with the Tumbow twin tone double tip sided marker i use the fine tip if you're gonna use sometimes when i print my own cards i use the canon matte photo paper that kind of ruins felt tips so i would use the reporter pen which is a ballpoint and i'm gonna use these awesome very awesome i love these alphas they are from studio calico the only thing I don't like is that they don't have numbers, and I know that I whine about that a lot, but when you do Project Life, you kind of need those too. And that little ruler comes with the Tumble for the Nosuke brush pen. It's actually to measure Japanese calligraphy, but it works for this too. And if you buy them individually, these usually come with those Tumble for the Nosuke brush pens, so I have a bunch of them. They're really flexible too. You can also use them for bullet journaling. I've seen that that's all the rage lately. It's very fun, but it's very time consuming. I tried once, it wasn't my thing. It's, it's really nice, especially if you like to journal and write a lot. I'm not the best journaler. I have issues with that. And that washi tape, it's really old. It's from Freckle Fawn and it's my favorite washi tape i used it quite a lot it's actually my second roll that i ever use and after that i don't have another one and that kind of bumps me out and i just wanted to layer some stickers the speech bubble and the little kits are from say cheese four are the kids and that last sticker is from magic and wonder from echo park and I have in this little envelope that I fuse to make a smaller pocket. I have the plane tickets in there. Uh, I think I have baggage tags too. So I just wanted to add a little something so it's not so plain. And I'm using the Tombow Extreme Adhesive. It's the adhesive that I love to use when I'm gluing something on top of page protectors, it's like the red line tape, but you don't have to peel it off. And I just wanted to add a little bit something so it doesn't look so, I don't know, so formal. And this is the final spread. It's a very simple one. I kind of use the same method with all the cards, but that title card, it's one of my favorites I've done in a while. And I had so much fun making this and it definitely inspired me to work on my album and hopefully finish it before the end of the month. I still have quite a few spreads to do. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. I'm going to have the items I use linked below. 
Uh, some of them are affiliate links. You don't have to use them, but they do help a lot. Again, thank you so much for watching and I hope you're having an amazing day. Bye!